So today I'm going to go through a progression to the exercise that uh, we went through last time about activating your lower trapezius muscle, which is located at the base of your shoulder blade there. And so now that you're getting the hang of uh, what it feels like to have that muscle switch on and to get your shoulder blade in the right position, we want to progress that exercise to not only strengthen that muscle, uh, but also make it uh, activate more in your function day to day. So as you're doing your daily activities. So an easy progression to that is rather than having the arm down by your side, you're going to lift it up to 45 degree angle. And same thing, drawing that shoulder blade back, trying to keep that bottom, uh, bottom shoulder blade against the wall of your back. And you're going to aim for five second holds doing 10 of those three to four sets across a day. And so this will automatically be harder because you're having to support the weight of your arm as you're lifting it out. You can also continue to progress this by lifting it up to about 90 degrees. Now I will show you another progression which you can do is trying to activate this lower trapezius through a range of movement, however, using the assistance of a doorway. So I'm going to go through the next progression uh, using a doorway. We're going to do an exercise called doorway slides. So what you're going to do here, you're going to place both arms on the door frame, just at a level that feels comfortable. And what you're going to start off with is by activating your lower traps by bringing your shoulder blades down so they're flat against the wall and you're feeling that engagement through there. Once you're in this position, we're going to keep that tension on while moving the arms through range. So you're gonna bring them up and you're gonna bring them down into a W shape. Again, squeezing through here throughout the range. Good. I'll get you to continue doing that, Russell. So as you do that, you wanna feel the tension through here, but you also want to uh, make sure that you're not overactivating uh, the muscles that you shouldn't. And so with Russell, he does actually have an injury on his left shoulder. And so we can see a bit of a difference between the two as he's bringing the shoulder up. So I'll get you to lift, go up through range and I'll get you to go up a little bit higher. This left shoulder starts to lift and activate a lot more through that upper traps. Whereas the right shoulder stays more relaxed and flat through here and soft through that right upper trap. So the right side has more control and ideally that's what we want to achieve with this exercise. So with the, we want to avoid those shoulders coming up to the ears and keep the shoulder blades nice and flat and active through there. So with this exercise, we don't want to experience any pain as you're doing them. Uh, aim for 10 repetitions, three sets of that once a day. So have a go of these exercises. The movement seems very simple, but it can be quite difficult to get a hang of in the beginning, but give it a go and see how it makes changes to your shoulder uh, pain, mobility and strength. If you are having trouble with this, feel free to comment shoulder below in the post and we'll happily get in contact with you to see how we can help further.